Shalom, I'm Angel. Welcome to my channel, Healthy in Heart. Um, one of the things that I love to do in the winter time, um, when it's a little slower than it typically is right now, um, is crochet. And I'm actually <laughs> working on a uh, blankets or, well, really a throw. It's wool, um, really cool. Um, stitch right there which is just a single crochet followed by a double crochet followed by a single crochet repeated odd number stitches <clears throat> however long you want to make it easy peasy um but that's what i'm currently working on and also using i love ice yarns guys <laughs> i know this is probably going to sound prejudiced and i guess i am but ice yarns from turkey make the best softest yarns i've ever seen in my life um, and these are just a pleasure to work with. Um, but this one is wool and acrylic. I don't particularly like acrylic, but if we're just covering up with it, um, you know, I'm fine with that. Anyway, <clears throat> let's see what else am I working on? Working on a, um, silver, literally a silver colored, uh, scarf which also is ice yarns. And this is um, called Rockstar. And it is merino wool and polyamide and acrylic blend. And it is so soft. And it works up really lovely. I actually made my niece a, so this is what I'm working on, a scarf. Um, I take this one because it's really lightweight and easy to transport. So if I have downtime at my mom's and Michelle's cats, my sister's cats like to eat it. Just FYI. So if I am there, it's easy to transport to work on if mom's like taking a nap or whatever. So, but I'm going to be doing a crochet along with one of my patterns that I created a, several years ago. Um, I made a walker bag for Todd's mom and I'll insert some pictures here of the two, two of the, two of the three that I've made her. Um, so if you want to crochet along with me, I will <clears throat> put the, um, once I figure out how to do it, <laughs> put this on the website, um, so that it can be, um, so you can, uh, um, access the pattern yourself. Um, yeah, once I figure out how to do it, <laughs> <clears throat> I used to have these on, um, Ravelry, but when they started getting political, um, I just, you know what, that's just too much drama. I don't want to deal with it. So I took it off. Um, for a while I had it on eBay. Um, don't really care. Uh, I don't like selling on eBay. I don't. So I'm thinking about opening an Etsy shop. Um, I just need to figure out some tax things. <laughs> um, so thinking about an Etsy shop. Anyway, um, yeah, so the pictures on this doesn't do it justice. I will insert, I, I did insert, you saw the pictures I added earlier, um, but it's really, really easy to do. Um, it does involve a little sewing and att to attach the things, the pockets to it. Um, what you will need <clears throat> ahead of time. Um, and I'm going to look at starting this January, the first part of January. So what you're going to need is um, five skeins of cotton yarn. Um, I, I really just used any kind of cotton yarn as long as it's worsted weight or medium weight. Um, number four. Uh, so you could use acrylic as well. Hold that. Hold the phone. I will go uh, get some cotton yarn. Okay, now when I say you're going to need about five skeins of yarn, I'm talking about these skeins of yarn, not 
these. <laughs> you could probably do a whole, I haven't tried yet, you could probably do a whole pattern with one of these. Um, I will be trying that soon because I'm going to use one of these to make one for my mama um, so that she has a little bag to carry around with her on her walker. Um, because when you have a walker, it's hard to carry a purse and it can throw you off balance. But if it's attached to your walker like this, and guys, there's some sewn patterns out there. There's some, uh, some that you can purchase, but they're super cute. <laughs> um, now you're going to want to, uh, decorate it however you want to. This one, I just did little flowers and buttons. Um, the flowers were crocheted with uh, the thread yarn. You don't have to use thread. <clears throat> this right here, um, I'll, I'll insert a better picture of this. Um, but this one is uh, just the thread yarn flowers with buttons also, but I put the stem in. Um, yeah, so that's another one that I made her. The other one is just um, random flowers on it with um, acrylic yarn. So I don't use acrylic yarn anymore. I mean, I do have some blends that I'm going to go ahead and use up, but I actually prefer the acrylic kind of feels itchy to me. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. You can use whatever you want to. <laughs> um, so anyway, you're going to need about five of these. And like I said, let's see. As you can see, it's a number four da, 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 right there. It's a number four Okay, that's better. Um, let's see how much is in the scheme. So we're looking at 140 yards. I need my calculator. 40 times five, 500, four times five, two. So you're looking at about 700 yards. And this has, look at that, 700 yards. So one of these should probably do one of the bags. Um, now, there's one thing you need to know. There are different walker types. Now, this one, um, doesn't have the bars right here. The new ones actually have support bars right here that make it really perfect for hanging because when they're hanging right here, just FYI, when you close these up to fold the, the walker up, if you're not careful, it will catch the yarn and um, eventually tear the, tear the top off. Okay, so for this one, you're gonna want it, the, the strap a little longer, which is what this pattern is written for. But for the walkers, and I'll see if I can find a picture of one that shows what I'm talking about. But uh, it has uh, braces that go right here, okay? And the braces that go right there on the sides, um, this would hang a lot better off of those. It does. Um, and so you can adjust the strap length for that one. Um, I think I cut it in half, actually. The, the length of the, the strap that I made. Um, so actually the, the, the last one I made is a little different pattern too. So. <laughs> um, but yeah, the measurements for the walkers are pretty much the same. Um, you're going to want to um, crochet some ties right here to tie it to tie the edges to sides. Uh, that just keeps it from wobbling back and forth, which can create a vibration and um, somebody fall. We don't want that. Um, so that just helps support the thing. And now the other one that I crocheted her, the yellow one. It was ever so much larger, and I have no idea why. Um, possibly I used a different um, crochet hook. Um, but it was larger. So it, 
and she likes to put a lot of crap in her bag. I don't know why, because that just makes the walker heavier, but she does. So it actually needed a uh, support right here and on the sides right here as well as the bottom uh, right here. So yeah, there's that. So, um, but if they're not, and it's not designed to you don't want a lot of weight on the walker because that makes the walker heavier. Um, people are going to do what they want to do anyway. But, um, yeah, it makes it heavier. So, um, this is what I'm going to be making. Uh, this is, it, it doesn't matter the brands. Um, as long as the thickness of the yarn is the same. Now, this is number four, the same as the other. It doesn't, really does not matter the brand. Um, you can use acrylic. I used acrylic for the last one. I'm not sure which one's stretcher, acrylic or cotton. Um, but uh, crochet does stretch out. So what you're going to want to do is this calls for an eye hook. We're actually going to use an H hook uh, or the, the 4.5 millimeter this is a 5.5 millimeter. You could actually go a little smaller if you wanted to. Um, but to get the size, then you're going to want to go with the, the 4.5 millimeter. Although, yeah. So you're going to want to go with the 4.5 hook because if you crochet it smaller, then um, it will not stretch out as, as much if they do put extra weight in there. But so I have that one and then I have like the peaches and cream right here brand. Um, this is uh, supposed to be 706 yards. So either one of these would work. And once again, you need about five of these. You are also going to need, like I said, the four and a half millimeter crochet hook or you could go with a four millimeter crochet hook whatever you feel necessary um and you're going to need two buttons that are approximately three quarter inch um if you go with a smaller hook you're going to need a smaller button because it's going to make it smaller um and i don't know what size that would be so you just have to measure it and see um and then, you know, just be thinking about what kind of decoration you want to put on there. If you want to put any, you don't have to put any at all. Um, but, you know, you want to get something pretty, right? If it's for a woman, if it's for a guy, then, you know, <laughs> maybe they want something pretty too. Who knows? Um, but anyway, that is going to be coming up soon in January. So, you know, like I said, Winter time is like the perfect time to crochet. So this is something I'm going to be working on. It really doesn't take long to whip it up. It's just kind of monotonous. Um, you know, it is what it is. Um, so, yeah, um, I hope you, uh, if you have someone who would enjoy one of these or, you know, and if you want to make these and sell them, by all means, go ahead. Just, you know, give me credit, send them to my website, whatever, um, where the, uh, pattern's going to be. Um, so yeah. Um, 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 so the stitches and I'll show you how to do the stitches. Um, single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, uh, slip stitch. Uh, you're going to skip stitches. Um, you're going to yarn over, da, 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 da. Uh, reverse single crochet. I like to do that in the edge uh, because it is a really nice finished edge. Um, bum, bum, bum. So in the pattern, there will be instructions on how to do these. And I will get the pattern up live um, before I start the crochet. So there will be a link in the, in the description. And it's going to have two pockets. On the inside or you can just leave it as one big pocket. that's optional you don't have to sew it up the center um, if you want to leave it as one big pocket that helps if you're going to be carrying folders or you know something a little larger 
um, folders um, often happen if you're like going to uh, if you keep a journal or something like that so that would be a good place to keep it um, it's gonna have a pocket for a water bottle and it's gonna have a pocket for like a cell phone or whatever um, you know just another smaller pocket on the on the inside toward them um, yeah here we go you can't see it because it's black but here's the water bottle pocket and here is the then there's another pocket right there so the stitches are pretty basic it's nothing really hard um, and uh, the finished product is going to be quite lovely and I'm not sure how I'm going to finish uh, my mom's um, we will see I know she would probably prefer to have a red one because red is her favorite color but I don't have enough red yarn. <laughs> so, um, but I will probably use one of these. Or you can, you can actually, you don't have to use 100% uh, cotton yarn. You could use wool if you wanted to use wool. Um, just be aware, cats like wool and they will eat it. So just be aware of that. Um, <clears throat> or you can do a blend. Um, not exactly sure what I have in there. Hang on, let me go look and I'll see. Okay, I don't have any other yarn that will work for this project. So, because of thickness. Um, so, I'm going to be using probably the blue one. I'm going to be using that one. And I'm um, thinking about what I'm going to, to uh, put on it to make it pretty for my mama. So, um, if you want to do, to do this crochet along with me, go ahead and comment below and let me know you're along for the ride. I'd love to hear from you. Yahweh bless you and keep you and give you shalom. Until next time, God bless.